Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome to You Can't Spell Paint Without Pain. I don't know anything about this game. I just downloaded it and decided to play it because, well, the title, you know. Never a bad time for a spelling lesson, you know, and it's true. You need, you can't spell paint without pain. Anyways, uh, let's just get started, shall we? Begin! It was a rather boring day so far. So you decided to go to an art gallery. As you are observing some of the artwork, a tall figure bumps into you. Oh. Oh, hi! Oh. Uh, uh I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank God. Okay, then. Well, I'll leave you be. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, I must have made a wrong decision. Okay. Well, then I guess I'm, I'm not fine, okay? Not really, no. Really? Oh, no, I'm really sorry. The tall man helped you to your feet. A small smile on his face. My name is Oliver. What about you? My name is Francis. Boom. That's a really nice name. Oh, why, thank you. Francis? He repeated your name, loving the sound of it. So, what are you doing here? You thought for a second. Why exactly did you come here? <laughs> I love it how we're in a place and I don't even know why I'm here. You quickly plucked an excuse out of your head and said it. You didn't want to weird out such a cute guy. Or, you know, just thought I'd have a look at the art. Oh. Have you thought about picking up art as a hobby? Um, not really. I kind of want to go with the second option though. Yeah, I think I'll go with the second option. That's one of the main reasons I got into painting. I always had ideas left and right. That reminds me of when I was young and all I ever drew was characters from cartoons I watched. Hey, isn't that where everybody starts though? At least that's where I did. Hey, uh, would you like to walk around with me? We could then go to my house and, uh, paint or something? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> you giggled at his nervousness and nodded. Sounds good to me. Wow, he seems shocked that I obliged. Really? Oh, I, uh, cool. Cool. You laugh at his excitement. The rest of the journey was full of laughs and goofs. But now it was getting dark and you decided to accept Oliver's offer of dinner around his house. Welcome to my humble abode. Nice home, dude. Nice paintings. As you looked around, you noticed that his entire apartment was full of paintings and sculptures. Many of them characters from video games and shows you recognized. The amount of colorful paintings mes mesmerize you. Um, is it bad that I don't recognize anybody in any of these paintings? But one stood out. Hmm? It was covered by a cloth. Oh, the one uh, behind him. Okay. Don't worry about that painting. It's a work in progress at the moment. You guess that made sense. It could have been a surprise for someone, so he was to cover it if that person comes around. Well, you know, that makes sense. Uh, I'm fine with waiting to the final product. Don't worry. Oh, that reminds me. Would you like anything to drink? Um, sure. Great. Just sit down and I'll be back in a second. As Oliver went to get you a drink, you sat on his small couch. You almost immediately sank into it. Beanbag chair, isn't it? Or beanbag couch, I guess. Oliver quickly came back and handed you a bottle of water. Thanks, bro. Sorry for the wait. Oh, it's alright. You smiled and opened the cap, taking a small sip of the water. You began to feel lightheaded as a smirk came onto Oliver's face. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have said no, huh? Uh-oh. Okay, that is a smile and a half, and I don't like it. Please stop doing that. Your vision began to get fuzzy as everything soon went dark. Oh, no. What did, you, what did you get me? He drugged me, guys. I think I'm dying. 
Wakey, wakey! Oh, you're awake! Hi! I see you're still wearing that creepy smile! Glad you're awake! You tried to say something, but whatever you were going to say came out muffled. Oh, yes! I couldn't have you making too much noise when you wake up. So... I gagged you. He stared out over, wide-eyed. How did this happen? This seemed like such a nice guy, and now here I am! With my mouth all gagged up. I guess I can ungag you. But... You have to promise me that you won't scream. Got it? Uh-huh, got it. You are one creepy son of a bitch. Good. Offer took off the gag. Well, if I scream, he's just gonna put it back on, so I guess I'll stay quiet. Good. Now. You're probably wondering why you're here, right? Well, you see how many of these paintings don't have red in their color palettes? Yeah, I noticed. Oh no, I think, I think I'm understanding the title now. It's because I use blood. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm understanding the title now. So, my blood, sweat, and tears, quite literally blood, is going to be in these paintings. Oh boy. And, as you see, I've run out. Your eyes will open wide and filled with tears. Yeah, I see where this is going. And that means I need your blood. Though, since I like you, I won't make it quick unlike the others. Thanks, buddy! I really would rather you just uh, do it quick. Great. I say, we begin. A sharp pain shot through your leg. Oh boy. You felt the fabric where the pain was become cold and wet. Your leg had a knife lodged inside of it, barely missing the bone. Yikes! Aw, oh, your face is so cute right now. Does it hurt, Angel? Oh boy, this is like a reverse uh, yandere. Like, uh, usually it's the girl that's like the yandere. This case, it's a guy, and uh, it's not exactly yandere. Like, uh, okay, yeah, he likes me, and he's uh, confined me against my will. Had me, you know, gay, and I'm guessing I'm tied down to, uh, you know, something. And he's not really doing this because he loves me. He He's doing this because, well, he's a painter, and he uses, uh, he uses uh, blood for red paint. But yeah, I guess this is close enough to uh, reverse yandere, you know. He said that in a teasing tone which made your skin crawl. It... it hurts a lot. Good. Alvaro took the knife off and looked at it. He smirked and licked it. Ew! Ew, you creepo! Mmm. Tasty. Are you a vampire too? You stared at him. Scared for your life at this point. This guy is nuts! Yeah, no shit! Well, I should patch you up. But first, I need to get your blood. He grabbed a nearby cup and began filling it with the blood from your leg. You both watched closely, a deep silence filling the room. Well, I'm not gonna do much talking. I'm losing out blood by the, through the leg. Yeah, not much to say. The silence went on for a good few minutes. He put the cup on a stand once he was satisfied. Your arms swung with pain as Oliver walked to a cupboard and pulled out a row of bandages. Your blood is going to work like an angel on my masterpieces. He returned to you and wrapped the bandages around your wound tightly. Your blood almost instantly soaked through the soft material. Well, I'm off to bed. W what Sleep well. Oliver walked to his couch, taking off his apron and shirt. He laid down and quickly fell asleep. You knew this was the best time to escape, but you were too worn out from the pain in your leg. Oh. Okay. You closed your eyes and slowly began to fall asleep. Oh, this guy's smart. Go after the leg so I can't escape. Come on, Francis. There you go. So, I'm going to be going out for a bit to get some Quay stuff and to go to work. So, don't move one bit. It was just you now. No one else. You notice the rope around your wrist and legs was a little loose. Okay, so I am tied. Did he want you to escape? Well, 
I'm going to do it. Hmm. You slip your ankles out of the restraints, a sharp pain coursing up your leg. You groan quietly, but didn't let it bother you too much. Soon after you slid your wrist out, you slowly stood out, swayed a little from the period of time you've been sat down. You looked around, making sure the area is clear for you to walk in. Slowly, made your way, you made your way to the kitchen. Quickly, you notice a knife rack. Uh, yeah, take the knife, just in case he comes home, you know. You pulled the knife out from the rack and quetched it tightly. Suddenly, the sound of heavy footsteps came towards you. Oh boy, I've been caught trying to escape. And you know what yonder is, that's one thing you don't do. Thinking fast, you closed your eyes and turned around swiftly. Slowly, you opened your eyes. Oh! Well, damn, right in the throat! You stabbed him. I... He collapsed to the floor before being able to make out another word. While you had a chance to bolt it out of the room, the adrenaline blocking any pain you would have gotten, you were free. Yay, I got a good ending! Yay! No more terror! Alright, so this didn't go on that long, so I'm gonna jump back into it, and I guess I'll stay put this time, alright? Alright guys, so we're at the part of the drink, so I'm gonna... How about I say no this time? Oh, well... I'll just get you a bottle of water for now. Okay, so it doesn't matter what I say. Alright. So, this this is unavoidable. This, ha this has to happen. Alright guys, we are back. Last time we escaped. This time, I'm not going to escape. I'm just going to stay put, okay? The door opened. I almost forgot my keys! Oliver laughed nervously as he grabbed the keys off of the counter in the kitchen. He ran to the door. I won't be long. A few hours passed and you are still waiting. Oliver? Yeah? Oh, you're, you're still in the chair. Good. Good. Alright then. Let me just get dressed and we can start. Oliver walked out of you and pulled his jacket off, throwing it onto the coat rack. You looked away as you didn't want to look at the psycho's nude body. Yeah, I don't blame you. Here we go. Now let's get some more of that blood. Offer Jen a knife into your other leg that the, at the side. Yikes! You screamed out in pain. Your body was stiff, eyes wide, and tears almost streaking your cheeks. Ooh. Oliver shivered in response. Your screams are like music to my ears. Oliver grabbed the same cuff as last night. It was still half full of your blood. So, he squeezed the wound, more blood pouring over it. You flinched from the sharp pain. What did you do when I was gone? I don't want to talk to you. Guess you won't talk. Are you really that traumatized? Well, yeah, how would you like it if uh, the rules were reversed and I was stabbing your legs? Anywho, I think I have enough for now. Once again, he got a roll of bandages and wrapped it around your leg tightly. You get some sleep. I'm going to start working on my art. You closed your eyes. Surprisingly, it was easy to fall asleep. You opened your eyes in a dark room. No one moving and the only sound being the fridge humming in the back. You then looked over to the couch. Oliver was curled up, sleeping without a care in the world. Then you remembered. The ropes! He didn't tighten them. You stupid idiot. Let's escape while we can. You slowly and carefully slipped your ankles and wrists out of the restraints. The pain in your legs made it hard to walk, but the fear you felt overruled it. Your heart was pounding fast. You noticed the front door keys on top of the counter in the kitchen. Quick and grabbing them, you dashed towards the front door. Running towards the door, you were suddenly stopped by an arm around your- Oh no! What do you think you're doing? Oliver's arm pressed against your neck as your vision started to blur. But before you fainted, it, you looked down and saw your guts spilling onto the floor. Okay, yikes. A knife in the corner of the large gash of the flesh. The burning paint you felt was too much. You fell to the floor as Oliver let go. Tch. Useless. Bad ending! Caught! Oh boy, there's many endings. You know what? I'm gonna just go through this and I'm just going to never escape, okay? 
All right, we are back over sleeping. I'm assuming if I kill him, I'll get the same ending I got, uh... Well, I got the first time, you know. Kind of surprised my first attempt was, uh, the good, was, like, the good ending. So, I'm gonna stay put. You didn't bother. It would only make him upset. You closed your eyes and began to fall asleep. You woke up in the same chair as always. Oliver was there smiling as always. He giggled quietly. Glad you're awake again! Now, I've been thinking. What else could I do for you for? And... I got nothing. But... I got an idea. What if I let you choose? You go up thinking of the things you could say. Well... Kill me, free me, or I don't know. You know what, I'll just ask, free me! Oliver start laughing loudly. Free you? Oh boy, yeah, that's one of the funniest jokes I've heard in years. Oh, I'll free you, all right. A large knife was thrusted into your chest. Bad end. Joke. Okay. He was joking. I should have expected that. All right, so kill me or I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this, this was all in death anyways, but sure. Oh, gladly. Yeah. Okay, it's the same ending as the other one. Okay. All right then, I don't know. Well then. I guess I'll just have to keep you longer. Which I have no problem with, of course. So, I guess I'll just drain your blood. Quickly. A knife was stabbed deeply into your arm. You let off a scream as Oliver's face became full of pleasure. Yeah, he's getting pleasure out of this, this sick bastard. I want to hear you scream more. A small screwdriver, a small screwdriver was stabbed into your- Oh my god! I'm not gonna give you what you want, I'm gonna hold my screams back. I said scream! He twisted the screwdriver, causing intense pain. I'm not gonna give you what you want, I'm gonna go dying like this. Don't wanna listen, huh? Oliver gained a sick smirk. The knife was taken out of your arm and placed to the side. Oliver opened the wound and looked inside. You went to the sharp pain watching him walk over to the bedside table that was next to the e e ESO. He opened the drawer and took out a small tube of paint. Quickly he walked back to you, opening the tube. He opened the wound once more and shoved the tube into it. Oh god! Squeezing the tube and letting the paint pour into- Oh my god! Your arm stiffened from the sting that the paint, the paint left. Smirking, he pulled the tube out, closing it and throwing it onto the nearby, into the nearby trash can. You should go to sleep now. Okay. While falling asleep, you knew you wouldn't wake up from the paint now in your blood. And you were right. Well, shit! Tainted blood. Okay. Alright, well, this is how I give him what he wants. Scream. You spoil me way too much. I'll collect the blood and patch you up again. After everything was sorted out, Oliver walked back to you in his normal outfit. So, I'm going out again, so don't move one bit. Actually, I say you should rest up. Okay. I'll be a good boy. Francis. Slowly you opened your eyes. Oh. Good, you're awake. Good, good, good. Oliver was extremely excited for some reason. It unsettled you. I got you something to show how much you mean to me. Oh? Huh? I got you a car- Oh no! Because I'm keeping you. You mean so much to me that I need to keep you. I'll kill anyone who tried to touch you. Yeah, he's definitely the male yandere. I'll kill anyone who tried to touch you. I'll protect you forever. I want to own you and see you beg. This is a good ending, really? If you say so. I don't think this game knows uh, the difference between good and bad now. I mean, I'm alive, but I'm basically a pet now. And I'm still, I'm, I'm guessing I'm still this guy's uh, source of paint. You're his pet. Alright guys, well, I think I got enough endings of this game, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you everybody for joining me and coming to You Can't Spell Paint Without Pain. There was a lot of pain involved in this. My blood, my sweat, my tears literally went into this man's art. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
I'm sure there's a lot of endings I did not get. I will leave a link down below. You guys can praise yourself if you want. You guys want to see the other endings. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.